In our previous lecture, we were talking about light. Today, I'm going to talk about an interesting and important topic in physics called reflection of light. I guess you might have observed when you throw a ball on a wall, it always bounces back, right? The light which we are talking about also has a similar feature. It bounces back when it falls on a surface. Because of this bouncing back of light, we are able to see things around us. The phenomenon in which the bouncing back of light happens is called as reflection. In other words, we can say reflection can be defined as the bouncing back of light. Let's learn about this phenomena in detail by considering a small example. As you have already learned in your previous classes, light travels in a straight line. So, when we light the torch, a beam of light will be falling on a surface. But here, we are just going to take a narrow beam of light called as a ray. So, the ray of light which falls on the surface from the torch is called as incident ray and the ray which bounces back from the surface is called as reflected ray. Now, let's draw a line normal to this plane by which we can divide the angle between incident ray and reflected ray. The angle formed between the normal and the incident ray is called as incident angle or angle of incidence. The angle formed between the normal and the reflected ray is called as reflected angle or angle of reflection. So by analyzing these facts, scientists have made some laws for reflection. The first law states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal lie on the same plane. I repeat, the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal lie on the same plane. The second law of reflection states that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. I repeat, the second law for reflection states that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Till now, we have seen reflections which happen on a smooth surface. Such reflections which happen on a smooth surface are called regular reflections. But just take an example of a broken mirror. The image or the reflection over there will be irregular. Such reflections which happen on an irregular surface are called irregular reflection or diffused reflection. Now let's do something interesting. Just take a pen on your right hand and go and stand in front of a mirror. You can observe the pen appears to be on the left side of the image. This phenomenon is called as lateral inversion. Here in this lesson we have learned about a wonderful phenomenon, reflection of light. 